Welcome aboard, everybody. This is Wednesday Night Basketball of the NBA on 2K Sports. I'm Kevin Harlan. With me tonight, Greg Anthony and Richard Jefferson. And reporting from the sidelines all game long, we've got David Aldridge. Hey, Dave. Thank you, Kevin. The Mavs have put the ball in Luka Doncic's hands and asked him to create. Coach Jason Kidd said, I don't know if anybody told Picasso he had to use all the paints, but I just want to remind him that he can rely on his teammates. His teammates are going to be there to help him. Good words from a great point guard, Kevin. Indeed, that's, uh, that's high praise. A Hall of Famer, D.A., thanks. And the Houston Rockets starting five. Porter Jr. is the point with Green on the wing. Marquise Chris is out there with Smith, and it's Gordon in at the three. And for the Mavericks, at the guard positions, it's Doncic and Hardaway Jr. Up front, it's Finney Smith at the four, with Wood at the five, and it's Green in at the small forward. Richard, if there's one thing the Rockets want to emphasize this year, it's defense. Yeah, no question. They've been one of the worst defensive teams in the league the past few seasons. To turn your fortunes around, you got to focus on defense. It's the most important thing. A sometimes underrated playmaker, Green showing good patience and vision. Here's Green. And the rebound goes to the Rockets. Over in the corner, Green to the inside. Smith gets it to go on the assist from Green. And once he got to the 10, I think he was surprised to find himself that wide open. Easy possessions like that literally are just a gift. You just dream of them. He'll gladly take those. On the wing, Porter. Hits the three-point bomb. Shooting while in rhythm. Porter Jr. has an impressive understanding for when to let that thing fly. Here's Hardaway. And some very quick points for him on that possession. That? Maybe not the highest percentage of looks right there, but look, you can't argue with results, I guess. On the wing, Porter. A three-pointer, no good. And the defense dodged one right there. Not the guy you want to leave open. Here's Wood. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. Well, Christian Wood has shown himself capable of being a 20 and 10 guy, but now he's looking to show he can be a winner as well. And the first one at the line is good. And you hear about impacting winning. How does Wood, Greg, take the next step in that regard? Well, Kevin, we know he can make shots and block shots. I think it's just about consistency and decision making. And, and then defensively, I think he's more than capable. The Mavericks have gone one of three from the field to start this one so far. And finished off by Wood. Watch how Wood uses his body, pushing past the contact to get to that easy finish. Outside, Green. Good D by Wood. Outstanding work to send him away. They sniffed that one out. Shot from the wing. He hits the back iron and sinks the shot. Well, he is looking confident. Love how they're using him so far. Yeah, when he gets engaged this early in the game, it's bad news for the defense. He can roll this start throughout the rest of the game. Now here's Porter. His last outing, he had eight points. Another miss by Houston. Break they're in a rhythm offensively, really cooking. And the opposition looks helpless to stop them right now. And he likes to get in a rhythm early. Nice triple. And now the first timeout called here for the Rockets. You talk about a defensive menace. That's Dorian Finney-Smith. He has a knack for coming up with a big defensive play. Often lines up against the opponent's most important offensive play. And for a look at how the competition stacks up right now. These, the new power rankings, they tell a great story. You take a look at Los Angeles. They're moving on up. Fourth spot in the rankings this time around. And I think for the Mavericks, they're just so locked in right now. It doesn't matter who they're playing. I know it's still early in the season, but they may turn out to be the team to beat. Now here's Green. Gordon with no one around and just miss after miss right now. And here's Green outside. Rebound by Smith. Rockets trail by four. 
Green kicks to Porter. And here in the first, uh, about three minutes in, for three, Smith. The Rockets with another miss. Dallas has gone one or two from long range in the first quarter. Green, the pass to Finney Smith. That shot missing. And it's Houston the other way. Last game matched up with the Clippers. A tough loss there. And guys, you just can't afford to give away points from the foul line. Not in the NBA. Teams are just too talented. Oh, that is well said. They're being handed free points and just couldn't convert. Here's Doncic. Following the basket by Jabari Smith. Basket counts. Oh, great ball movement there. First quarter of play and uh, just over three and a half minutes in. Guys are looking for a spark here. Yeah, a cold stretch offensively for sure. Mavericks leading by four. Here's Wood. The shot's good on the assist by Doncic. Doncic has got three assists tonight. The lanky big man Wood is gifted at keeping his balance despite the contact. And the wide open shot from Green. Drains it from beyond the arc. And we talk about the importance of versatility. He's really got it all on the offensive end. Here's Green. And good. And it takes a nice bounce off the right iron and down. Green's got his second basket of the night. Over in the corner, Green. Here's Porter. Mavericks with the rebound. This, of course, their first opportunity to play Houston this season. Yeah, and they came out with a W every time they played this squad last year. A stark contrast drawn between the conference's haves and have-nots. And here is Green after Tim Hardaway made that last three-pointer. Smith, no luck. A bit of pride at stake. Trying to get that last three ball back, but couldn't get it to fall. Hardaway, no good. Rockets trail by eight. Gordon with it. He's picked up by Doncic. Oh, and they get in the way of the alley-oop. Not to be. Good play defensively. Green. And it's Dallas with another. Their play on both ends has been superb. We, we'll see if they can maintain the momentum. They came out and bum-rushed them. Huge difference in activity level from both teams tonight. And here are the Rockets now. Following the score by Dallas. Smith sets the pick for Gordon. And a wide open look for Porter. Drops in the tray. Porter's got six. Good to see Porter Jr. knocking down the triple. Needs to keep taking and making those shots. Green, no luck. Well, you, you have to like their work on the boards, Kevin. Particularly here to start the game. Outside, Porter lets the three fly. It's hauled in by Wood. Wood's got rebound number five here tonight. Here's Hardaway, and another basket for Dallas. This is as good as it gets for a first quarter in terms of shooting the basketball. And it's Porter with the ball for Houston. They trail by nine points. Look from Green, nails the 16-footer. Green's got his second bucket. I know it's not in vogue right now, but for guys like Green, there are points to be had in that mid-range. Finney Smith can't get it to go. Normally, he drains that to the paint and it's slammed in by Smith and that's how you lead a team literally Dallas leading by five passes to Finney Smith a three ball good and the assist goes to Doncic you know almost every team has some kind of roster turnover in the offseason so Greg this time of year can be about getting familiar with your new teammates and there's always a feeling out process this early in the schedule. It's about finding your team's identity, figuring out how all the pieces are gonna fit. For the Rockets, Shen Goon's checked in for Chris. Jay Shante comes in for Eric Gordon. And it's Josh Christopher in for Jalen Green. Rockets trail by eight. Outside Porter, here's Christopher. It's good from long range. And how about Porter Jr.'s court awareness? Excellent job finding the open man with the pass. Back to Doncic. A good finish at the rack off the slick feet. And the Mavericks lead by seven. And they've scored several times already here in the first quarter on the inside. Porter looking it over. 
Down low. Here's Christopher. No good from outside. Mavericks leading by seven. The drive by Green, and it's Green with the jam. Look at Wood finding ways to contribute. Sees an open man and drops a dime. Porter passes to Smith. And the foul on Dorian Finney-Smith. That's his first foul. And some changes here for the Mavericks. Lopez, he's checked in for Christian Wood. My Powell comes in for Dorian Finney-Smith. And Allen subbed in for Tim Hardaway Jr. And then for Houston, Kenyon Martin Jr. comes in for Smith. And David Nwaba subbed in for Porter. Here's Shengun. Boom, he jams it straight down. Just a terrific effort on the offensive glass. That's how they're going to cut into this lead. And Greg, a, a dunk like that is sure to give them a spark. Rockets trail by seven. Over to the left wing. Christopher, no good. Dallas has gone three of seven from three-point range in the first quarter. Green finds Lopez. Good, and it's Green picking up the assist. Green's got three assists now in this one. And, and they've worked the ball around so well tonight for those quality looks from mid-range. Now, here's Tate. Still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring hit from him. Last game for the Mavericks, they picked up the W against Los Angeles. Goes up on the wing. Green, no luck. I mean, look, no one guarding you. It's better to not pull up and try the leaner. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. And the question for the Mavs is simple. How do you best build around Luka Doncic? They'll try to answer that in the coming years. And Greg, it just seems for the Mavs, it's all about finding the right fit for the role players. And that's why this team was willing to move on from Porzingis. Going forward, you could see them look a lot like the hard near Rockets. First free throw is good. And both free throws good for Martin. Boy, this hurts to have to bring up, but I was there for the Rockets title winning days back in 94 when I was with the Knicks. I saw Houston in the finals firsthand. That's their third straight make off an assist. And that outstanding drive and finish brought to you by Mobile One. And continuing to press their advantage, they're not taking their foot off the gas. He lobs it up. It's tipped. Lopez with the steal. Allen outside. Let's it fly. Waba with the rebound. Rockets trail by nine. Back-to-back -back titles for the Rockets in the mid-90s. You were just talking about that. Greg, what sticks out to you about those teams? First and foremost, the dream. Uh, Hakeem Olajuwon, he doesn't get his due at times, but the dream is one of the all-time greats. Uh, Olajuwon's defense really changed games and, and really keeping the ball hopping around here offensively. And Nwaba has it in the corner. They get it again. Shingun. Good D by Lopez. And he's usually able to score on that type of defense rather easily. Surprising to see him come away empty. From deep green. And the rebound goes to Martin. The Rockets shooting looking a little out of sorts early. 37%. Strong move to the 10. Trying to get his guys going. Hard not to get motivated, GA. Right when your teammate makes that kind of play. And that could be the spark they needed to make a little run as they try to even this thing up. And the crisp passing has opened things up for them offensively. To the wing right side. Here's Christopher. Off target with his three. No doubt he's struggling right now from the field. Let's see if he can get it going this quarter. Took him no time at all on that one. And the Mavericks lead by 13. Displaying intensity right off the opening tip, especially on the offensive end. They came out swinging, really setting the tone on offense, and the opposition has not been able to respond. Now here is Mark. Taking a look at his numbers, he averages about seven points a game. Allen dishes to Doncic. Sinks the triple. 
Doncic has got seven points. And the defense looks soft early on. They've got to sum it up a little more sense of urgency. Martin wide open. He fires. And they come right back with their own three-pointer. The real. Come at us, and we're coming right back at you. Yeah, I love the competitive fire right there. You drain a triple on us, and I'm coming for my revenge. Uh, I, I'm trying to think of the last time I saw him miss a shot like that. It's It's been a while. The pass to Shengu. Out to the right wing. Here's Mwaba. And another three for Houston. When he has that much space, he's a pretty good bet to nail the three. And here's Green. He'll bring it up for the Mavericks. Ten-point lead. The three for Doncic. Tate with the rebound. And Nwaba has it in the corner. Shingun can't get the tip in. On the wing, Green. A three-pointer is right on target. 13 points in the game. And so it's Dallas, looking at a 13-point lead, heading into the next quarter. Their transition game has been in full effect. Right back after this break. to have you with us folks second quarter of basketball this game has not exactly been neck and neck but plenty of time left in this one and some stats here guys the scoring breakdown for dallas dallas leading by 13 at the guard positions it's Doncic and hardaway jr actually Kleba is out there with wood and it's finney smith in at the three spot that's the lineup out there for the mavericks how many times have we seen a possession like that from them today? Ending with a basket, coming off a pretty pass. Really left alone that time. Smith's got nine. And the rookie answers the challenge. Smith fearlessly drills that three-pointer. Here's Hardaway. The shot's good on the assist by Doncic. From that in-between range, they've been the much better team. Rockets trail by 15. Now Porter, outside Gordon. Offensive rebound, outside Green. Jacks up a three. Chris gets the bucket. Chris has got his second basket. And it's crucial that Chris makes that shot. Big men like him are expected to possess an outside jumper nowadays. Oh, taking it to the rack with power. And hammering down the two-hand slam. Just over a minute gone here in the second quarter. Greg, you have to love the impact that Tim Hardaway Jr. has had on the defensive end. He's got a great wingspan to bother shooters and contain penetration. Always aware of where the ball is on the floor. You could call him an underrated defender. Another three for Dallas. He got a three to fall in the first, and now his second in this quarter. Not a trend the defense wants to see. Screen by Smith. Left side, Porter. Kicks it out to Gordon. And he can't answer back. The three-pointer offline. Dallas leading by 15. Wood pass to Kleba. On the wing, Hardaway. Guarded by Green. Pass to Doncic for three. Another three for Dallas. They've been outstanding from beyond the arc this quarter. Their percentage has been climbing steadily. Pass to Gordon. Now Chris. That's good, and he's now three for four from the field. And this is where Chris does a considerable amount of damage. Feels comfortable taking those interior shots. Wood can't hit. Rockets trail by 16. And while we've got a moment, let's send it over to our terrific reporter, David Aldridge. David? Thanks very much. Now, from the step back to his attacking style, some have compared Luka Doncic to the beer, James Harden. There are some similarities, Harden said. 
Being able to dictate and control the game like he does, he never lets anyone speed him up, and he gets what he wants. Back to you, Kevin. He always has. They're both pretty fun to watch. David, thank you. And so here is Dallas after the Rockets pick up three. Here's Smith. Wood with the block. The length of Wood just covers so much ground, as you can see there with that fantastic block. And that kind of stifling effort on defense needs another look. And this is how you protect and grow a lead by making a huge effort on that end of the floor. Here is Porter. He's got nine. Screen by Smith. Smith on the wing, beyond the arc. Mavericks with the rebound. They led by as many as 18 points. They'll host the Denver Nuggets after this one. And they've been enjoying this long homestand. That will be game four of five in a row at home. One of your trademarks, Richard, was athleticism. And from the days we first saw you at Arizona, and we're seeing teams really place, right now, a premium in today's NBA on that athleticism factor. Yes, when you talk about positionless basketball, then you typically go to the guys that can do it all, and those are the wing players. They can guard smalls, they can guard bigs, they can do a little bit of everything, and that's why teams are looking for them. With the size and athleticism and the potential that he showed at the college level, it was mind-blowing that Christian Wood went undrafted. And clearly, Steven Silas wants to talk it over. Now some of the best in the NBA right here. The top scores, efficiency-wise. Christian Wood, number one. Second, Tim Hardaway Jr. You can't say enough about these two guys shooting this season. Both their percentages, just incredible stuff. Rockets trail by 14. Outside, Gordon. Dishes to Smith. Outside, Green. Hardaway against Porter. Passes it to Chris. Kicks it out to Gordon. Down to five on the shot clock. There's Green with the three. It's rebounded by Dallas. Woods got his eighth rebound here tonight. Hardaway passes to Wood. Yes, and it's Hardaway picking up the assist. Woods got 10 points in the game. You can tell that Wood has gotten so comfortable shooting from that range, developing that kind of modern big man skill set. Porter, no luck. Mavericks leading by 17. Here's Kleba. That three off the mark. And it's Gordon with the ball. He brings it up for the Rockets. Porter in the corner. Smith sets the pick for Porter. And there's the pass to Chris. Smith inside. He's coming off a 28-point game against the Clippers. And Jabari Smith, of course, with deep family ties, Greg, to the NBA. His dad being the OG, Jabari. All these guys are in that 6'10", 6'11", range. So great bloodlines. And the first one drops. As you go back and look at the last few seasons, RJ, it, it seems like team success has largely been predicated on health. Do, do you feel like that has always been the case? I don't remember there being as many injuries early in my career, even with guys that were playing all 82 games. But you're right. Recently, we've seen a lot of key injuries. And look, this is my theory. Before, players used to get away from the game a little bit, take a couple of months off. Now players are staying in shape 24-7. Like, they never take a break. And I think that's why we might be seeing players break down a little bit more. Yes or no answer? Too many games at 82 in the regular season should be less than Don't you ever ask me that question. Give me 82. I'd rather you bump it to 83 just to remove all doubt. <laughs> and the shot is good. The Maverick lead has been cut down now to just 12 on the basket from Smith. Pass to Finney Smith. Takes a three. Here's Hardaway. Gets it to go for bucket number eight. He's taken just 10 shots. The offensive success is due in part to his quality shooting. He hasn't wasted too many looks. Smith finds Green. 
now. Here's Gordon. Offline with his three. Here's Finney Smith. From outside, off the mark. Rockets trail by 14. Green with the ball. He's picked up by Doncic from 15 feet away. And there's Green on the assist by Smith. Green's got four points now in the quarter. Just a positive force right now for these guys. And though his team has fallen a bit short, it's not because of him. Here's Wood. He's got 10. No coverage that time. Woods got a pair of triples in the second now for the Mavs. Porter kicks to Green. Pass to Gordon. There's a screen by Chris. Gordon, the pass to Chris. Score the basket. His fourth. He's only missed one of his five shots tonight. Love how selfless he is setting brick screens like this. Plays like that right there are what help create easy scoring opportunities. Now, here is Smith. He's got 14. Kicks it out to Gordon. This one for three. Christian Wood grabs the rebound. And he continues to cast away. But the results just haven't been there tonight. Here's Kleba. Chris with the rebound. Chris has got his fifth rebound in this one. In the corner, it's Gordon from downtown. It's rebounded by Dallas. They led by as many as 18 points. Pass to Finney Smith. Fires the three. Sinks the three-pointer. Finney Smith's got 15 points. Uh, unwilling to let up, even for a moment. That's his killer instinct, just fanning the flames. Always plays hard until the final whistle, no matter what the situation is. He's going to force them to have to make adjustments. That's number four in terms of triples in the half. And Dallas calls their first time out of the game. And a new group getting ready for Dallas. Lopez, he's checked in for Wood. White Powell comes in for Maxi Kleba. Josh Green's checked in for Dorian Finney-Smith. And Allen subbed in for Hardaway. Mavericks leading by 13. The pass to Powell. Leaner from distance. That shot is off. That is not a bad decision to pull it from there. It was just a little bit off with the execution. Count the basket. Christopher's got his second basket of the game. You got to love his hustle, leaving the defense no time to react. And all of a sudden, that man was just on the other end. Wow. Powell, that's good. A playmaker of Doncic's talents wasn't missing that gap. He quickly gets the ball to the wide open man. Inside, Shingun, a great one two punch, beautiful pass, and nasty jam. He gives up a bit of size at the center position, but his leaping ability, well, let's just say that makes up for it. Allen's shot is off. Rockets trail by 11. The Mavericks GA have been trying to tighten up their defense the past few seasons, and it's beginning to show. And we're seeing signs that the players are getting the message, and they're spending more energy at that end of the floor, and that's essential for any elite team. Cross contact on the shot, and now a three-point play chance as he'll head to the line. And how about the balance of Doncic on that possession? Amazing at just absorbing the contact and still with the strength to finish. And he's got his first chance at the line here. And with his percentage at 87, he's done just about everything they could have asked when it comes to free throw shooting. And you watch the way Doncic runs this offense. He's become a master at the pick and roll. Incredible to see someone run it to perfection. Now, here's Nawaba. Off the mark there with the three-point shot. Green dishes to Doncic. In the corner, Powell with it. There's the three. Another three for Dallas. And with Doncic in the pick and roll game, he's so good at such a young age. It's amazing how well he reads the defense but he can also freeze the defender or create confusion with that hesitation. He has all the tricks to run it. That's good from Allen on the assist by Lopez. Lopez has got three assists now in this one. Talk about execution on the offensive end. They're leaving nothing on the table right now. It's caused them to pull away a bit. Let's see if they can keep the train on the tracks.
Here's Christopher. He's got five. There's the screen to halt the run. Okay, now I think he's starting to get in his own head right now. Maybe he's overthinking things a little bit, and as a result, he's just been off. Doncic, that shot no good. So Houston will take it the other way. And again, the turnover by the Rockets. Here's a look at the schedule now for Dallas. On Friday, they'll be matching up with Nikola Jokic and the Denver Nuggets. And when you look at that Raptors matchup, I think it's going to be an interesting challenge. Even though they expect to come out on top, this could probably be a pick em game, depending on how they play. And the shot is good. And you got to respect Luka's passing skills. Uh, just a multi-talented player who is all about sharing the basketball. Now, here's Nawaba. To the right side. Let's it go from deep. It's rebounded by Dallas. Just an ugly show from him offensively. Yep, no way to describe it. Just ugly, and that hasn't helped. He gets that one. Here's Nwaba. 112 left now here in the second. Pass to Christopher. And here is Tate. The Rockets with another miss. No matter what looks they get, they just can't convert to stop this run. This is snowballing for them. They've got to get a good look next time down. Oh, I can see some miscommunication on defense there very clearly. They were super fortunate it didn't torch them with that mistake. Count that one from Nwaba. When he has enough space, he's more than comfortable letting it fly from outside. Here's Dallas. They're on a 14-5 run. Allen for the three. Another three for Dallas. He was inside his own head in that first quarter. You could see it. Now he's doing a much better job of letting the game come to him. We've got a nine-second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. And it's Mwaba missing. And so Powell will bring it up for Dallas. There's the triple. He watches it go through the hoop for his eighth make. Now eight for 14. Nice ball movement there. That's how you break down the defense. Here's Christopher. Five points in the game. Pass to Martin. Puts up a three. No good that time. And so it's the Dallas Mavericks ahead by 26 points as we get ready for the break. From the field, they have been outstanding, amazing shooting. That's what has them headed to a blowout. We'll get right back to the action when we return. Welcome, everyone, to tonight's show. Kicking things off, let's see some of the names on the injury list around the league. Watching this team is less exciting without LaMelo, I'll tell you that. But more important, they'll miss what he gives them. Yeah, he scores, he passes, he dictates the pace. They'll need him out there. And now looking at that first half, what an impressive performance so far for the Mavericks. We use a lot of hyperbole around here. I can't even spell hyperbole, but I know what we use it. But it actually looks like they're doing just that. Passing drills out there. The ball movement is insane. Us? Use hyperbole. <laughs> we wouldn't do that in a million years. That'll do it for our show tonight. Thanks for joining us, and we'll send you back to Kevin Harlan for more Hoops action. Well, we've got a second half of basketball for you. We think it's going to be pretty good. A big comeback, though, is needed for this game to be competitive, and it probably has to happen quickly.